How to make a fully functioning Minecraft server for 1.9. Is it just me or does the text right below the Minecraft logo say f you? First thing you need to do is go to mojang.com or minecraft.net or whatever the freak it's called. Okay, so now you're going to go back to the download page where you bought Minecraft and you downloaded Minecraft. Make sure Minecraft is fully downloaded before you uh, do this next step. So scroll down or not really scroll down. It's in the same kind of like text area to where it says you can download the Minecraft server which is um, r right next to Minecraft Realms. You can set up your own Minecraft server right there. You click set up and then uh, you get this extra text down here. You want to set up a multiplayer server. Server setup and it's going to tell you like how you can set up the server. It's going to say if you want to run a Minecraft multiplayer server by yourself um, it gets a bit more involved. Alright you can go to the wiki and check it out. But once that is all said and done, you could just go down to the final link right next to the bottom, and there it is, the most recent Minecraft server download. You click that, and um, you got your Minecraft 1.9.2.jar. Why am I plugging my nose? Oh my god. Alright, so now that you've got your file on your desktop, the first thing you want to do is make a new folder. Um, and you want to make that folder a normal fol folder, and you're going to name it the um, server. So uh, you just drag your Minecraft server into the server folder and then all you need to do is double click the uh, server inside the folder that you just put it in and as you can see it is all set pretty much. Now all you really need to do is configure the eola.txt file and basically all it wants you to do is just open it up. Alright so here we, we have it right here alright. So now all you need to do is go down to the very last section where it says eola equals false. Change that and then just you could just close out of it and save and then you could just go I mean you, right here it, you don't have any logs because you haven't started the server yet but as you can see server properties um, this will start once you uh, initially run the server so let's do that right now alright so as you can see it's going to come up with this notification you want to allow alright and then it's going to start initially setting up your server Right now, the uh, port address for your server is going to be by default 25565, and um, well, actually, it's going to stay like that. There's no way to change it unless you have a host on some external server, which could be a website, which costs a lot of money, but I'll get onto that later. All right, so as you can see right here, it says done, and that means it's running. All right, now the only thing you need to do is um, change the server IP, all right, because right now it is unaccessible. You need to host it on something. So let's just. Um, oh yeah, by the way, do not ever close out of this with uh, the actual close button. If you want to stop the server, make sure you just do stop. You're going to need your IP address if you want to host your server online. So you're going to go to your desktop and then you're going to go into your start folder, right? So now you're going to go into your run uh, application. You're going to type in CMD, press enter, and um, here we go. Alright, so simply what you want to do is type in ipconfig, that's I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G. Alright, so obviously I'm not going to be showing my actual IP address because, well, you know, you're going to want to find your IPv4 address and your default gateway address, alright? They will be practically right next to each other and it's kind of easy to find. You just scroll down a little bit and they'll be right there. It's in the few lines where it, it shows the addresses of your IP. Uh, for your router and you just copy the default gateway all right obviously you, ca you can't copy it directly from command prompts so you're going to want to maybe write it down somewhere because you're going to need to type it in into Google Chrome okay so once you have your router set up with your IP address for your computer you're going to do the following things on the website that it takes you to you're going to one set up the name of your server and that is completely unimportant it doesn't matter you're going to type in the IP4V address that you found in the command prompt right below your um your gateway and you're going to type in the 25565 port number local host you can leave that blank and protocol you will set to both and then just set set everything to apply and then you should be good to go I'm not going to show the actual site on my web page because that's confidential so hopefully you guys will be able to understand from this point on and once you're all done with that you could just test out your Minecraft server because it is all set and ready to go alright so now it is done and uh, 
I'm going to be showing you how you can find this in Minecraft and you can play with your friends because that's the whole point of having a server, right? It's actually this easy. You don't have to go to an online website and, and pay like nine bucks a month to host your server there. I mean, you can. You can get your own custom IP that way, but it's a little bit harder and you have to pay a lot of money for that and I don't recommend it. This is 100% free. You do not have to pay any money for this. The only thing you have to be paying for is your internet, which is mandatory. Okay, so now that we... Oh, God, I can't even speak today. Okay, so now that we are on the Minecraft server page, to add your server, you go to add server, and then for the Minecraft server, you type in whatever you want, but for the address, you type in local host, and uh, you do point two five five six five, um, or you could just type in your IP address, which is most likely 192.8.com something blah 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 whatever you want or whatever your IP address is and then after that you do two five five six five um more information on that is most likely in the server section of minecraft.net so make sure if you want to stop the server you do not close out of the server with the big red X button you have to go slash stop all right that's the only way or else it's not going to serve the it's not going to save the preferences and if you don't save the preferences you lose all the work that you've done in your server and all the IP names and you will just have to start all over again every single time you open the server and you will not like that because it will get kind of annoying after a while so make sure you do this instead of pressing the X button like that. So you will have your Minecraft server ready and you can play online with your friends or whoever the hell you want to play with. I don't fucking care to be honest. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm getting so pissed off because I can't speak anything today. I can't speak a fucking coherent sentence without stuttering. And I'm getting so motherfucking fed up with it. So thank you all so much for watching. I super fucking... Oh my god, I can't even... I appreciate your asses so much. Thank you so much, you guys. Fuck me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!